Hi guys, my name is Marcel, and guess what? Your favorite artist has uploaded a new video. <laughs> and me too. Today you're gonna learn the basics of drawing faces. What's important to me is that every single one of you can draw along. It doesn't matter if you draw Disney style or cartoons or manga. I'll try to explain how to draw face shapes in different styles today. So today's video is gonna be pretty basic. But I also thought about making another video where I draw faces in different angles sometime in the future. If you want to watch this video, then you can go ahead and subscribe, then you'll get notified when I upload another video about drawing faces. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and start with the basics first. We're just gonna draw a basic face shape today and the most important thing is that you don't get discouraged right at the beginning. It's okay if your circle isn't perfectly round or your lines are wobbly. I was like that too, everyone was. All of this is plain muscle memory and practice. Wanting to draw a perfect face right from the start is like expecting to be perfect at slacklines after watching it for one time. You don't only need theory, but also practice. And we're going to start with just that, drawing a face in theory and practice. Let's go. If I want to draw a face, I personally draw it like this. I'm gonna start with a circle. Next, I'm gonna split that circle right in the middle. And then I'm gonna shape the jaw and the chin. I know, there's tons of tutorials about how many guidelines you'll need. A guideline for the eye, guideline for guideline the ears, for guidelines, guidelines for the ears, the eye. I mean, what are you gonna learn from this? Honestly, I think there's only two guidelines that most people will need. One for the eye, and one for the tip of the nose. Placement of these guidelines can also sound very tricky at first. Again, some tutorials tell you to measure them out by taking half the circle and then multiply it by the square root of x minus the sum of all parts combined in order to divide it by barely any artist out there ever measures guidelines. They all go with their gut feeling, so don't fret when you're off by a millimeter or something. I personally place them so that the circle ends in the middle. And also, you can use those guidelines for drawing ears as well. So now let's check the proportions. We have two small parts and one big part. Just remember it as 2 one, one as a little mnemonic device. By the way, my camera films from an angle so the head might look a bit big to you. And then, when it comes to the chin, you can make it a bit rounder. Like I said, this is my personal way of drawing faces. There's tons of people who draw their art in completely different styles. For example, cartoons. Other people like to draw comics. Or, for example, manga. Everyone draws differently, this is just my way of approaching a face. The most important thing is that you can tolerate that different people have different tastes. There's people that like the art more realistic, and then there's people who prefer it stylized or cartoony. The proportions I'm showing you in this video are a bit more realistic, but I'll show you how to change things later on. Oh, uh, by the way, there's a guideline that I never knew as a child, but I think is really important. It's the cheeks. They go up from your ears right down to your chin. Anyways, those were all guidelines you'll need in order to draw the shape of the head. Now we can continue by drawing the facial features. You guys know how I roll, I like to simplify everything in order to learn it. I didn't show you any guidelines for facial features yet, because you all have different styles. It would be pretty dumb if I would show you guidelines for smaller eyes, but you really want to draw bigger, more stylized eyes. Like I mentioned, everyone has different tastes. Now, let's start with the eyes as an example. If you would like to draw more realistic eyes, your guidelines should be very slim. By the way, there is no shame in using a ruler if you're still having trouble with drawing straight lines. That's what rulers are there for. Now you draw in the eye in a very, very basic shape. And after that, you can add the details. A lot of beginners draw details straight ahead without drawing the basic shape first. That works out for some people, but most artists have a hard time drawing like that. That's why you draw in the rough shape first, so both eyes are the same size. 
And yes, this goes for every kind of eye. Let's say you prefer bigger, stylized eyes. In this case, you can lift the upper guideline up so it matches the size of the eye you want to draw. Again, we should first draw in the basic shape, so both eyes will be the same size later on. And only then should you add details. And those were the basics of drawing eyes and how to keep them the same size. And you guessed it, that goes for everything else too. For example, drawing noses. We first pencil in the basic shape of a nose. Your average nose is as big as our guidelines that we drew in before. But if you'd rather have another nose, like for example a button nose, then you'll need a different shape for that. If you have more practice with this later on, then you should definitely get inspired by your favorite artists. If you combine the things that you like, you'll get something completely unique out of it. Most artists start by being inspired and then grow into their own after some time. And yes, that's how it's always been. People are just very quickly to judge without actively reading into the topic. So you do either all of that, or you're just drawing in all the basic shapes that I've prepared for you here. And don't get me wrong, it's okay to start with the basics. I just think it would be a pity if all of your artworks looked the same because of my tutorial. That's why I didn't want to make this video at first, but I understand that you sometimes just want to practice by drawing a cookie cutter face. But if you do that, try using photo references. Make a photo of your face and try learning from it. For example, here's a photo of my face. What? Oh, oh yeah, yeah, right, sorry, I didn't shave before making this photo. Right, yeah. Excuse me, the next time you'll see a photo of me, I'll be shaved. I promise. Anyway, photo references can help you place guidelines if you have trouble with them. You can go ahead and practice all of this, just rewind the video and draw along if you haven't already. Now what I'm doing next is to draw in more details to these building blocks that we've drawn. Just so they look less like building blocks and more like, uh, you know, f facial features. But I still stand by my advice, use photo references and try drawing an individual face, with maybe bigger lips or wider eyes. If you're ready, we can continue by drawing the face from a side view. Honestly, drawing a face from the side is only half as tricky. We start like we did before by drawing a circle as a base. Also, our middle line now goes to the side. And we add the same guidelines as we did before, just watch out that this time the upper guideline is in the middle of the circle. Also, as you can see, the middle line is curved. And so are the other lines as well, but you can't see that from this perspective, so don't even bother. Now, if you have any problems drawing this basic structure, I feel ya. So did I as a beginner. Just try envisioning a fencing mask, because it has a very similar shape to it. Also, I told you the ear is as big as this part right here. And yes, that's still true, of course. And when it comes to the placement, I would place the ear right about here in the middle of the circle. That's where the ear starts, but when you draw it, you tend to draw it a bit more to the right side. Also, the proportions are the same as they were before. Two small parts and one big part. So again, it's two, one, one. Now a draw in the jaw and that's about it for the side view. Also, don't forget the cheek guideline. And that's it for the face shape. All that's left is drawing in the facial features. Like with it before, we add basic building blocks to our drawing. You need to be especially careful with eyes and lips. If you're not, your drawing will look like... Like... Well, this. The shape of an eye is gonna be triangular. And this goes for almost every style. Doesn't matter if you draw more realistic or stylized eyes, when it's sideways, it's a triangle. But the guidelines stay the same. Doesn't matter what kinds of eyes you're drawing, it works just like it did before. Now we need to add something we didn't need before, the lower end of the forehead. So just add a little triangle right here. And the lips are triangular as well. They start very thin and get bigger over time. 
and that way you get this, uh, this, uh, well, this. <laughs> That's all you need to know for starters, but just like before, you can be creative yourself. You don't have to draw a triangular cookie cutter nose, if you'd prefer a button nose, you can draw that too. Just keep in mind, you'll need a different building block for that. But again, there's nothing wrong with practicing a basic face, so here are again all the relevant building blocks for that. And now you can get more detailed and more elaborate. Try drawing the chin a bit rounder, add some eyelashes and so on. If you struggle with finding details, you can Again, use photo references. I've made you guys another reference photo of myself right here. Like I promised, I shaved in the meantime, though I still couldn't find my shirt anywhere. But that's okay, I heard you get more views if you're half naked. Now back on topic, try picturing guidelines in reference photos so you can practice applying guidelines easier. And here's the trick, this works with every face, in every style. There's just different proportions that you need to keep in mind. Now this was a very, very basic way to draw faces. And like with most of my videos on my channel, I have made a cheat sheet just for you. You can go ahead and take a screenshot of it. That's what I made them for. In exchange, you can drop a like on this video if you want to return the favor. Alright, do you guys remember how I've made a basic video about drawing hair? And after that, I made an advanced video about drawing hair? I thought that maybe, after this video, I could make an advanced version with drawing faces in different angles. But this might take a while, since I'll be using 3D models for that. And also, I'm working on my art book right now. If you want to see more of my stuff or you're just interested in my art book, you can take a look on my social media or just hop over to my website, there's more info there. Or you just do both. Well, thanks for watching, and a very big thank you to my very first three patrons. My name's Marcel, and I'll be on my way to find my shirt. <laughs>